And welcome back here at 530. It's good to have you with us. I'm Tammy Melchok. And I'm Moses Small filling in for Jim Scott. Now new tonight, Bakersfield appears set to get two popular national chain restaurants. And what are they and when can we expect to see them? 17's Robert Price has answers at least to that first question. This dirt lot might look like a wasteland now. It was the site of Logan's Roadhouse, which burned down. In a couple years, it'll be something new, something different, and a sign of perhaps better things to come in Bakersfield. The empty lot on California Avenue, right next to the northbound 99 freeway on-ramp, is the new designated home of a Cracker Barrel restaurant. And that's a good omen. And not just for fans of the Southern Fried restaurant chain, it's also an indicator that corporate boardrooms across America are increasingly bullish on the country's reemergence from the pandemic. And it's an indicator that when the reemergence is fully realized, Bakersfield will be a place they want to be. Cracker Barrel isn't the only national chain headed this way. Dave and Buster's, a restaurant and video arcade, is coming to Valley Plaza Mall in a spot on Weibel Road previously occupied by a tech school. Another shot in the arm for a mall, like shopping malls everywhere, that are dealing with a retail world transformed by online shopping. Cracker Barrel's Bakersfield gift shop slash restaurant will be built where Logan's Roadhouse was destroyed by fire in October 2020. The Bakersfield Cracker Barrel would be the Tennessee-based chain's 661st company-owned location if it opened tomorrow. The local Dave & Buster's restaurant would be the Dallas-based chain's 143rd location. Neither Cracker Barrel nor Dave & Buster's return calls from 17 News, most likely because their architectural plans have not received final approval from the city of Bakersfield. But the city's planning department confirmed that both Cracker Barrel and Dave and & Buster's submitted initial plans many months ago, and just this month, both resubmitted plans incorporating changes required by the city. Opening dates for the two restaurants aren't known. Vince Roach of Cushman & Wakefield, a local commercial real estate firm, said, generally speaking, the addition of major national retail chains is a positive sign for the local economy. It's a feather in our cap, so to speak, and, a, and a, an, an affirmation, uh, a continued affirmation, and, and there will be more to come. We're, we're certain of that. So we're delighted to, to when retailers choose to come here. Roach said major national chains tend to not act hastily. They study individual markets and then study them some more before they commit. So the two chains pending arrival in Bakersfield probably means many national chains of different types have increasingly optimistic views of this market and its estimated 850,000 residents. As the U.S. gradually pulls out of this pandemic, hopefully, good signs are on the horizon. Maybe this is an example. In Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.